This this PlayStation I had when I was five. Okay. I'm 22. <laughs> so, yeah, this is all the stuff that I like. Yeah, this is just stuff that has been around. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to our 18th episode of the $10 Game Collection Challenge. We are on a quest to build a video game collection, starting off with just 10 bucks to prove that you can still game hunt in today's time and you can do it on a budget. A couple updates, guys. Obviously, there was no $10 game collection video this past Monday because I was on vacation in sunny Florida. It was amazing. We were on the beach. We were at the pool. We ate so much food. And you know that I went retro hunting. I had to. I could not could not help myself. So um, I'm going to have a whole other video of footage from that. So I don't want to spoil anything. But that's where I was. People were asking, man, where's the video at? Where's the $10 game collection video? Are you okay? Are you dead? Sanka, you dead? No, I was fine. I'm, I'm fine. I was just on vacation and there was no way that I was getting um, two full $10 game collection videos edited before I left. It takes me about roughly 12 to 14 hours to make one of these Monday videos and there was no way that I was going to get two of those out uh, or two of those done before I left. So that was the first update. The second update is who won the Super Mario World Super Nintendo Kart. Uh, I got all the names from that episode a couple weeks ago, and Brian Manuel was the lucky winner of this Super Mario World. I'm going to leave a comment on your comment in that video, and hopefully I can get this to you. Congratulations. Let's just get to our question of the video for this video. And it is, I was thinking about this, what have you guys been playing during the pandemic? Have you guys been enjoying whatever you're playing? Maybe you guys can give us good uh, suggestions and recommendations for other games to play during all of this craziness. Guys, if you are new to the channel and you love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, I'm talking about retro video games, movies, toys, and more, make sure to hit that freaking subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on new weekly videos. Every single week we are coming out with nostalgia content and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into this week's footage. All right, guys, let's get into an update of the $10 game collection. Guys, we are running out of space so fast. Like, I don't even know what is going on down here. All these games are jam-packed. I can't even display them at this point. And I don't have a solution. I don't even know what to do. So I think at this point, I'm just gonna keep just packing in the games until I can't anymore. And then we'll try to figure something out. Um, I think last episode, we left off with this much in the game fund, which was like 400. 420 something like that so honestly i'm just not worried about the money aspect of the game fund right now which has prompted me to be extremely lazy like up here that is probably 120 dollars in dvds that are just sitting up there that i need to sell to get you know to get some cash in the game fund but i just don't care at this point so until um until the game fund gets tight i'm not going to worry about it um last episode also we got the green kiwi game boy color and this game boy advance sp and there was a big mystery um to this sp and i think we are closer to figuring it out so it is ags 101 but it's not backlit so that was the mystery we we're trying to figure out and some people said that they thought it was a reshell or it was modded or something like that the reason why i didn't think that was the case was because I knew that um, the girl that I got this from, this was her original Game Boy Advance SP, and she bought this like 15 years ago. And I did not think that there was any like modification to it. I just didn't think, I just didn't think so. I mean, look at this, it, it looks like this is 15 years old. So um, then how, how is it, how is it not backlit? And then some other people said they knew exactly what it was. They said, that this is a not a US release, but it was released um, or available overseas. So I was like, that makes a little more sense. So I reached out to her and I asked her where she got it. And she told me that she bought this 15 years ago in Cambodia. She got this in Cambodia. Now, I, I'm not saying I, I understand completely why it's not backlit, but 
that makes a little bit more sense. I, again, I thought they were all backlit, but who knows? I think we're closer. We're on the right track. That is why it's not backlit. I could still be wrong, but I feel like we're generally closer. Other than that, I don't think there's any more updates. Let's go game hunt. We got plenty of money. Let's do it. So this is a different uh, Goodwill that I don't come to almost ever because they had to have a really, really small selection, but they have one game. Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories. It's not marked, so it should be two bucks. It's in good shape, um, but there is no, no manual, but I mean, I'm not gonna complain for two bucks. I'm gonna look over uh, in electronics too in a minute, but there's also this I would have picked up for two bucks for sure, but it is not in there. And I don't even think that's worth picking up just the case. I think usually, sometimes you can sell the, games, the game case and manual for a little bit, but I'm not gonna mess with that. So I'm gonna pick up this for hopefully two bucks. So I was just talking about this movie in an episode not too long ago. One of my favorite movies. I never see it. <laughs> and since I talked about it in a previous video, I had to buy it again. I let someone borrow it a long time ago and they never returned it. So I had to rebuy it. And it was like, it was like 10 or 12 bucks. I think that's about what it's selling for now. It's two. So um, it's good and bad. Bad that I find it now. <laughs> but now I have it. So I get to buy this one to flip it. So two bucks. This will be an, an easy flip and make some make some more cash. All right, guys, I'm at the Salvation Army, looking for DVDs and games. And NCAA Football 11, and it is complete, which is amazing. They sell games for three bucks. I think last time I looked, this was selling for like 30, 30 to 40 on the high end. Amazing pickup for three bucks. Awesome. All right, y'all, another sports game that is worth money. I know it probably sounds insane that there are any sports games that have value, but there are. You know, a couple weeks ago, we picked up NCAA Football 14 and we sold it. We flipped it for $140, which is literally crazy. And now we just picked up NCAA Football 11 for the PS2. This is selling for anywhere from like 35 to 40, sometimes 45 on the high end. And I just think sometimes we are, we are sleeping on items like this, like sports games, like DVDs that are right in front of us at flea markets, at Goodwills that we cannot sleep on. We cannot sleep on these items. So if you guys have been around for a little bit, you probably know that I have a whole DVD list with hundreds of DVDs that are worth money. Uh, it's available to all my Patreon members and probably the most common thing I'm asked is, man, you've got to make a sports game list too. And I've heard your requests and I finally did it. Uh, I have made a sports list with over 200 sports games that have value. Yeah, over 200, which is crazy that there's that many. Um, prices ranging from like $10 to 100 plus. So if you're interested in that, it's three bucks a month to join the Patreon. Link in the description below if you don't want to. Totally cool. I'm just letting you know that the resource is available. On to the next. All right, guys, I'm at Goodwill right now looking through all the VHS and I found one that is worth money, man. My neighbor, Totoro. I think that's how you say it. Oh. Now this one fluctuates anywhere from like I mean, 20 to 40, 45, um, which is crazy for a VHS. The DVD sells for even more, which is nuts. But, you know, we haven't picked up a VHS in a while to flip, but this is going to be an easy flip. They're actually a dollar. This says, this says two. But I mean, even, it's, even if it's two, I'm going to get it. But we should get this for one and flip it for around 30 bucks. All right, guys, I wanna show you something that I do to make sure I maximize profit whenever I am um, selling something on eBay. This is not groundbreaking by any means. I'm just trying to take you guys along um, the whole process of whenever I'm buying and selling things. So this is basically gonna be the same idea as whenever we switched out the back of the cart, uh, the Snowboard Kids 2 cart. 
you know, if I buy a DVD and I'm trying to resell it and it's got like a cracked DVD case, I just switch out the case. Same thing with a PS2 case or something like that. Um, I need to do that with this VHS. It is pretty, uh, pretty gross, pretty grimy. Uh, and I said this way wrong earlier. It's my neighbor Totoro. I think, I think that's closer. You guys were going to destroy me in the comments. I think it's Totoro. Maybe I'm still wrong, but whatever. Um, so we're going to switch this out and all you would do is take out the artwork. And I'm telling you, obviously this is super simple. This is actually in really good shape, which is good. And we're going to switch it out with, uh, the first kid. Do y'all remember this movie? Fun fact, this, the kid from the first kid is young Gordon Bombay from the Mighty Ducks. Let's go, son. Hey! Hey! So all we'll do is we'll take out VHS, take out this artwork, and throw in my neighbor Todoro into this one. Hopefully not damage it. There it is. And Throw it in and look at it. That's pretty simple. And now it's not gonna look like trash whenever I put it up on eBay. Super simple, on to the next. All right guys, we're about to get into one of the biggest pickups that we have gotten to date in the $10 game collection series. It's amazing, it's so much stuff. I cannot wait to show you guys. Uh, but before I do, I wanna kinda talk through how I got this and um, probably the biggest tip I have ever learned in game hunting and I use this tactic to get these games. So I think I first heard about this from CJR. He has been on YouTube for years, an amazing game hunting channel. He hasn't done a lot here in the past couple years, but uh, he has a great channel to, to go check out. And he said this, he said, when game hunting, you need to ask for games. And I remember being like, what do you mean you ask for games? If they're there, they're there. So this is kind of how this looks for me now. So if I'm at a yard sale, I kind of glance around real quick, but then I go straight to the person that's having the sale and I'll ask them, you don't happen to have any like old school video games for sale tucked away in a closet or something. And most of the time they're going to say no. Sometimes they'll say yes and they'll bring out the games. A lot of times these people don't realize that games, video games have any value at all. And they just think that they're junk. Um, sometimes they say no and then i'll start rattling off consoles like you know old school games like playstation like Game Boy, like sega and they'll say no they'll say no and then maybe one of those consoles will like trigger like oh yeah i think i do have an old Game Boy. so that that is kind of how i do it i would say nine out of ten times when i find games it is because i asked uh, another time, I'm, I'm kind of wild with this. <laughs> One time I bought a basketball goal from a lady, went to her house, got the basketball goal, and just like on a whim, I was like, you don't happen to have any like video games for sale, do you? And she was like, what do you mean? I was like, and I started rattling them all off. And she goes, I have a DS and a 3DS. I think her kids were like 17. Uh, she had twin boys and they're like 17 and they didn't care about their video games anymore. And she brought out this box of 3DS stuff and like Pokemon games, Mario games, Zelda games, there was like $800 worth of video games and she sold them to me for $100. So that was all because I asked. Uh, same thing with this pickup. So there was a lot of DS games and it was just like a decent uh, lot of games. There wasn't even a price, it said message um, for details, which I don't even like doing that. Um, but I did anyways and I said, hey, you know, how much for the DS? He said, it's already sold. Most people would have said, that's it, they're gone. No, I asked, I said, you don't happen to have any other games for sale? And he said, yeah, I think I have like a Wii and a GameCube. And he started naming off all this stuff. I go, can you send me some pictures? And he did, and oh my gosh, all this stuff is amazing. The point being, I would never have gotten these games um, if I would not have asked. So you have to ask, do you have video games? I do it on every platform. It is the best tip that I've ever learned. You gotta ask, let's get into this pickup. What's up, man? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Air bump. <laughs> yeah, fine. There's a lot. Oh, sweet, man. Um, how are you? There's games and some okay. of these. Some of these are empty. Right. Man, if you find those, please make me be the first person to call. Yeah, I'm going to, I think I know, it might be at a friend's house. I will call you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, but I'll just carry it over. Sweet. I found little knickknacks. So did you just like collect this stuff at, like back in the day or? This is from, this this PlayStation I had when I was 
five. Okay. I'm 22 now. <laughs> so, yeah, this is all the stuff that I like. I yeah, this is just stuff, stuff that has been around. Okay, cool. Where do you want it? Sure, I'll put it back here. Me too, because it's just... Sure. You said 150 is good? Yeah. Here, count that, make sure it's right. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Hit me up if you find it. I find those games or anything else. Yeah, yeah. I collect all of it, man. Okay. Seriously. All right, guys, we're back in the game room about to go through this huge tub of games together. I have not went through this yet. I'm stoked. Um, a couple things to know about this pickup. There are multiple consoles in here, but he did tell me there are a lot of empty cases. Um, he was actually going to throw them away. I don't know if you heard him at the very end of that clip. I think he said he was going to throw all of this away, <laughs> which would have been crazy. I'm so glad he didn't do that, uh, and I'm glad I snagged it from him. So we're going to get into it. Uh, as always, I'm going to tell you how much we paid over here, and we're going to tally up um, the value of everything. I think we will easily double maybe triple our money there's one piece in here that is worth 170 ish dollars that i had no idea it was worth that much so make sure to stick around uh, until we find that piece um let me see but yeah we paid 150 so let's get into it so here is two guitar hero guitars i don't know anything about guitar hero guitars or rock band or any of that stuff should I keep this? Is this worth anything? I don't know. We're gonna get it over here, put it over here for now. Cause I don't know, y'all tell me. Here is a We Fit Plus board. It looks to be like maybe not used. I don't know. It seems like very well packed. So I know that these can actually sell decently well with the actual game, but we're gonna get those out of the way. All right, so let's get into the tub of games here is a gamecube um great a black gamecube we have a silver one so now we have a black one too i don't know if i'm gonna like collect different variants of consoles either i don't think i'm going to in the ten dollar game collection maybe i will i don't know here is lego rock band for the wii it sounds like it's in there and it is if games are like under like 10 bucks i'm just gonna like throw the value i don't want to have to find examples sold listings for everything if they're not very valuable here's the bigs too i don't know there are a couple bigs games that are worth a little bit because remember don't sleep on sports games so that's in there that's good here's the beatles rock band that is in there nothing crazy so far here is just rock band we stuff selling well so Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. I think we sold this not too long ago for like 15, 12, something like that. So decent start. Here is some more stuff. Here is just a case for Crash Team Racing. Here is Supercross Circuit. And we're gonna run out of room, y'all. Scooby-Doo Cyber Chase. Beyblade V-Force, and it is in there. Good. This is a good start. Team Rocket Racing. I loved Rocket Power as a kid, man. Here is Buzz Lightyear Star Command in the case, but no front. Here is Tag Team Racing. Okay. Okay. This is a bonus, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Freaking yes, man. Yes, this is awesome. I love bonuses like that. <laughs> like this, man. What is that? Why is Breath of the Wild in this? I, I mean, I'm actually happier that this is in here than uh, Smash Bros. Wii U. Because I think this is worth like a little bit more. I think this is like a 30... $35 game, so wow. Okay, Smash Bros was in Smash Bros Melee was in this. Uh Breath of the Wild was in this. Okay. Spyro. Enter the Dragonfly. Empty. Here is Pokemon Ranger DS. Inserts manual. Empty. Okay. Maybe we're about to start getting into empty stuff. I 
I don't think there's a DS in here. He didn't he didn't mention a DS. Uh, here are a bunch. Ooh, gosh, guys. There's some good stuff in here. Pokemon Coliseum. Oh. Oh, man. Uh, drone Racers. Never played that. Never heard of it. Y'all tell me if these some of these games are good that we're, that we're looking at that I've never heard of. Mario Party 5. Come on, come on, come on. It seems light. Dang it. Uh, we actually have Mario Party 6 that we got a couple weeks ago. I wish it would have been Mario Party 5 or the Mario Party 6K so we could have completed it. Tack, Power of Juju. I've never played any of the Tack games. And looks like I'm not going to play it now. Uh, Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. It's like super late right now, guys. It's like 11 o'clock, so I'm kind of losing it. Here is Destiny. Xbox One empty. We are we are really hitting some empty cases. Y'all stick with y'all stick with me though. There is that piece in here that's gonna blow your mind. I had no idea it was worth as much as it is. Tonka Space Station. So this genuinely was his stuff when he was a kid. It looks like. Another tack game. Am I gonna play tack? I'm not playing tack. I might give you like, I think I might already said this, like a general total of all the empty cases, what they're worth. I mean, I think if Sunshine, Mario Sunshine would have had the manual, it's probably like 15 bucks or so. Here's a PS1, okay. So we have a PlayStation 1, but we don't have a PS1. This came out later and it actually has this really cool screen that you can attach to it and make your PS1 portable, awesome. Bonus game, Spyro, which one is this? Year of the Dragon, cool. I don't wanna break it. Okay, we're just gonna not do that for now. I'll put this down here. Hopefully I can get that to close. Here is a Wii, excited to see if there is a bonus, bonus game, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see. Let's see if there's an SD card. <coughs> no SD card. Oh, I'm running out of space. Here is a Wiimote, not Motion Plus. I think these trade in at my game store for like 12. Cool. All right, let's see. Here is the power to the PS1. Here is a gnarly GameCube controller. That stick looks terrible. I'm gonna put that to the side for now. Here is a PS1 controller, gnarly. Oh, here's the Mario Sunshine. I knew I saw it in here someplace. Uh, no manual, so this will probably, this is probably like 10 bucks maybe, ish. Bob the Builder. Exciting. Rayman Brain Games. Man, apparently his parents wanted him to be educated. Uh, let's see. Here is a GameCube controller with a great stick. Awesome. All right. A Game Boy Color. Another Kiwi Green Game Boy Color with Pokemon Yellow. Awesome, I could probably get, man, it will not focus for anything. I can probably get that off. Uh, no battery cover, not a huge deal. Uh, hopefully this works and cuts on, but and then here's like the light magnifier thing. Cool. Um, let's see, here is a wave bird. I can already tell um, that it's got a good stick, but it does not have the back. Not the biggest deal in the world. If this works and there is a receiver in here, this is like, this is like 40 to 50 bucks the last time I looked. Uh, okay, here it is. This is the piece that is worth a freaking ton. He sent me some pictures of all this stuff. You know, I, I you know, he told me most of the GameCube stuff wasn't in there. I saw Sunshine. I saw some of the other ones. I'm like, man, that, that stinks. Please find those games. <laughs> if you, if, or if you do find them, please let me know. I think they said that they're, they're like in a little CD binder or something like that. But he sent me a picture of all this stuff and I saw this and I was like, is that a Game Shark for a, for like a Game Boy Advance or something like that? It's exactly what it is. The last couple that have sold of these were like 
160, 170, one sold for 220. I was like, oh my gosh, I had no idea this thing was worth that. And then here is uh, Pokemon Leaf Green. I don't know what is going on with my camera right now. It's like focusing far away, but not up close. Pokemon Leaf Green. It might be my lens. I have a, like a wide angle lens on this. So this is gonna be the best we're gonna do right now. I think this sells for like 40. So right here is easily our money back and everything else is free. Freaking let's go. Okay, here is the power. I don't know how much stuff, how much of this stuff I wanna go through that's like cords. So here's a power for the Wii. Here is power for the GameCube, which is good. Here is a PS2. We get to add a PlayStation 2 to the collection. That's awesome. We did not have one yet. We set new goals recently and we wanted a PS2. This tray looks a little weird. We'll see. We'll see if there's anything weird going on with that. Whoa, see? It's kind of like popping off. We'll see. I, I don't know. Um, but cool, to add a PS2 to the collection. And then we have just a couple other little things. This looks, this looks good. Zelda Four Swords, great game, man. I love, I love getting bonuses in ga uh, in game lots where you don't, you don't realize this stuff's in here. Here is Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories. Wow, we found this for the PS2. This episode, that's pretty wild. Here are some AV stuff or AV cables. Here is a nunchuck that seems to be decent. Another one that's third party cords uh cords here's that oh yes yes we got the freaking receiver this is awesome so that it that is gonna make that around around 40 to 50. let's see i can't see everything in here here's another gba game donkey kong country 2 amazing went through that here is a stack of playstation games down here hey anytime i see crash stuff i'm i'm pumped this is uh crash bandicoot warped oh not terrible shape not great here is max hoffman matt matt hoffman's pro bmx tom and jerry house trap in house trap Madden 2002, okay. Oh gosh, sorry. Here's Crash Bandicoot Warped. Here is Crash Bash and Crash 2. Wow, a bunch of Crash games to end out, uh, to end the tub of games. What is the value? I don't know. That was a lot of stuff to go through, but here's the value. I think we easily tripled our money. This was like, this is what made me feel good about the whole thing, though. I'm glad that this was in there. If he would have told me, yeah, I got a bunch of consoles and empty boxes, and I wouldn't have seen this, I would have felt just okay. I think we, I think we could have done pretty good, but this is what set it you know, over the top for me. So um, I will tally it all up, tell you guys um, the total, and we will go to the end recap. Guys, we picked up four consoles, a handheld, and a bunch of games. I think everything in total is valued at right around $1,000, and we only spent $159 this episode. Uh, I think the only thing I'm going to sell is the Game Shark for the Game Boy Advance because I do not care about that thing. And once we sell that, we're going to recoup all of our money and some just from that one item. Uh, and I really hope that guy gets back to me with that little case of games. That's like $400 in games. And we need those games for the collection, so I really hope he gets back to me. Guys, as always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would like this video, it helps in some way. I have no idea how YouTube works, but I have heard that it helps. Comment below what you've been playing during the pandemic. Uh, check out some of the other videos, and until next time, peace.